All right, so this month at the studio, we are all focused on building muscle, which for those of you girls who always say you want to be toned, you really need to take about four to six weeks to build some muscle and just solely focus on that goal. But if you are smart enough with how you eat, you will still lose some fat. So with that said, I really wanted to develop a meal or design a meal for my gems, my clients, that would facilitate their muscle repair and also something that fit in their lifestyle. Because let me tell you, my girls, they are worker bees. They don't have the, comf the luxury to just sit down and have a nice 30 minute meal. They actually, a lot of times, they have to work through their lunch. So I wanted to make sure I designed something that they could easily hold in their hand and still enjoy the health benefits of it. And this is, that is how I came up with a perfect meal for convenience sake, for lifestyle sake, and for muscle building, and that is the quinoa pseudo sushi. So it's very easy, and again, it all incorporates the principles of the, um, the L Method diet plan, so to speak, and that's whole foods, plant-based, very colorful, simple, tasty, and easy. Okay, so what you want to first start off with is a nori sheet, okay, so a seaweed wrap, all right? Now you want to do uh, shiny side down, okay? And now we're going to take our quinoa. I'm just going to put it in, use my hands, and what you want to do is the way you make, I don't know if any of you guys have made sushi before, but you want to create a nice thin layer with it. For, with it. Uh, the bottom, you want to give yourself about a half inch to an inch, and you want to cover about three-fourths of the wrap, okay? and kind of go all the way to the ends of the sides and nice thin layer. Again, I made my quinoa, the way you make quinoa on a um, stove is one cup of quinoa, two cups of water, and I also added a little bit of sunflower seeds for extra nutrients. Okay, so you have your thin layer. Now you, all you have to do is add in the vegetables of your choice. I'm adding in some carrots. Okay, then I have some lettuce right on top, right on top of the carrots, and you can assemble this any way you want, and then I'm going to add some red cabbage, okay, because again, I always try to get five different colors in my meals. All right, perfect. Now what I'm going to do for a little extra vitamin C, I'm going to add some lemon, okay, so squeeze it on there, and then the last thing I'm going to do um, to just kind of give it some moisture inside and also to help it kind of roll up is I'm going to add some of my Queen Gas dressing, very versatile dressing. Um, if you don't have this, which chances are you won't, just add some avocado. So I just I like to add a little bit of that. I kind of out of a lot of this. So I use it all the time. Just go ahead and put a little bit there. And then with my dressing, I also add, I like to add a little bit at the top to help seal it. Um, you can always, if you have some water by nearby you, you can just kind of dab your fingers because you do have to wet the top. All right, so now what you're going to do is you're going to roll it very tight, okay? There really is no need to use a bamboo mat when you make sushi. It's kind of a waste of money, I find. So go ahead, nice and tight. Keep pressing. There you go. And just kind of make sure it's bind it. Now the last part, and probably the most important part, and this is for you, Amanda, is you want to make sure when you cut sushi, you want to use a really sharp knife. I actually keep a separate one in my kitchen just for things like this. And then you're going to want to cut it. You're going to use a little sawing action, okay? So just saw it down, and perfect. And there you go. Now you have a perfect muscle building meal because the quinoa is a complete protein source. And then you also have a great muscle repair and regeneration meal because it has lots of different colors, means lots of antioxidants to fight that inflammation. And it's very convenient. All right, well, there you go.